Clements Homebrew coming at ya. Wow, this is a this is a jam-packed week of stuff. I've got crib notes even this week. There were a lot of great Homebrew Wednesdays and videos last week, and I want to mention some of them and a few shout-outs. Uh, also, I'll be trying the uh, double IPA, the Too Far Gone double IPA version two, and uh, we'll be doing that live right here. You'll see it uh, just as I'm tasting it. So with all the stuff I want to cover, I'm going to be talking fast and try to zip through as quick as I can my commitment to try to get this video shorter. <laughs> First, a few quick updates. Uh, Krish and I were together on Sunday. We dewinterized the boat and uh, made a mess, but you know, the boat's ready to go for the season, so that's awesome. We also went over to his place where uh, he needed to repair some siding before they could come out and do the inspection uh, so he could try to get the house refinanced in his name. Here are a couple photos from that. Yeah, that was just a quick patch job um, where a woodpecker took out a, well, put a big pole in the side of the house, quite frankly, while the runners were in there. So we had to get those replaced, and then they can come through the inspection. He's going to completely reside the thing. Next topic, SJ Pour Experiment. Um, he put out a video uh, this last week entitled SJ Pour Experiment Update 6113. Uh, he names the people that he understands to be in the contest. If you haven't watched that video, you're going to want to watch that video so you know if you're on the list. And um, so please go check that out if you're not sure. Also, you will need to PM him to confirm. And he has a nice little video to show you. If you're not sure how to PM someone, he'll show you how. This week, I'm pimping Jason Davies' channel. Uh, Jason's been um, a viewer of Clement's Homebrew for probably just about a year now. Uh, he pops in and out, but he's, he's a brewer. He does home brewing, but he started doing videos, and he's popped quite a few up. He wants to encourage more people to come to his channel, um, and part of that's just like the rest of us. So you can comment, uh, you can ask questions and respond. Uh, he'd like the support of the channel. Please check out his channel. It's right there. It's simply Jason Davies. Um, so go check out, subscribe. Uh, Jason's putting up videos, and he's also quite entertaining. I've got to tell you, he wears some funny hats. <laughs> All right, the Homebrew Wednesday video of the week goes to Grant Baker, and uh, his video IPA shootout and Brewing Tuesday. Uh, it, it was a great little video. I was laughing. His editing is masterful. And he also does like an IPA shootout. It was uh, him and Paul Wicksteed. And they both bought IPAs and were trying each other's. And they do some fast forwarding and chipmunk voices, et cetera, et cetera. Great comments. Anyway, I laughed. You laughed. Check him out. Grant Baker. Great guy. Does some good stuff. Good brewer. And uh, go check out his channel, subscribe to him as well. Next, I want to congratulate Under the Table Brewing, who reached 100 subscribers last week. Good job, fellas. And another father son duo, and Elder P's in there if you like fishing. He does some good fishing, but these two uh, have put out some great videos, and they're really super supporters of the channel. Um, they're subscribed to so many people, they keep up with people. It's just amazing. So, check them out right there. If you're not watching their channel, you need to check them out as well. The next shout outs to Dean McDonald in New Zealand. Dean rigged a coffee urn. I don't know if you've ever seen those coffee urns. They're, they're pretty tall. They got a spout at the bottom and a lot of them have a heating element inside. He jury rigged this uh, coffee urn to use it for doing brew in a bag. And as you look at the design, you could easily see how that could be turned into a mash tun. Uh, maybe put on a temperature probe that can control the heat, but um, really worth checking out. So Dean McDonald, here's his website. I'd encourage you to check it out. There'll be a link below to that specific video. Um, nice job, Dean. That was very, very intelligent. Nice move. Brilliant. Next, 
We're gonna keep zipping along. We are moving outside to look at the hops and the garden. Been out working on the yard quite a bit. I added this uh, additional garden bed and uh, along with uh, two others. And then let's take a look at the hops which are across the way here. Grapevines are doing well, but take a look at this. This is the uh, Centennial. And that sucker is winning the race. It's right at about five feet right now, maybe a little higher, which is doing great. The uh, Cascade is starting to go, cling on, and, and the ones that we're doing not so good, the Willamette is starting to sprout up, so we'll see. I'm going to start using BH Brewing's uh, little trick of using Miracle Grow once a week and uh, see if that doesn't uh, help them shoot up a lot faster. So, well, at least my Willamette's looking great. Uh, I'm going to have to get the line going up to the roof pretty quickly now with that one. But uh, the other two, they're, they're kind of slowly going along. Um, speaking of hop updates, I'm going to be going out this weekend with Mrs. Clement's Homebrew to Bend, Oregon. The home of the Deschutes Brewery. Uh, hopefully I'll be checking out a few breweries while I'm there. We're, we're there to do other things and some hiking as well. The place I really want to get to out there is Boneyard. Boneyard doesn't fall yet. They're working on that right now, but they have some amazing IPAs. I want to see what else they make. One of them that I really love, a uh, hockey player really loves, is called Hop Venom. And we've had that on tap a few times. Great, great beer. So hopefully I'll get some video from Bend, Oregon. Now, before I get to uh, trying uh, my Deepa and, and uh, sharing that with you, I've got to play a little video here. It's about communication and the importance of communication. I'm sure you'll be able to relate to this video. With all seriousness, just take a moment and watch this clip. It's just... There's all this pressure, you know? And sometimes it feels like it's right up on me and I can just feel it, like literally feel it in my head and it's relentless and I don't know if it's gonna stop. I mean, that's the thing that scares me the most is that I don't know if it's ever gonna stop. Yeah. Well, you do have a nail in your head it is not about the nail. Are you sure? Because, I mean, I'll bet if we got that out of there. Stop would... trying to fix it. No, I'm not trying to fix it. I'm just pointing out that maybe the nail is causing. You always do this. You always try to fix things when what I really need is for you to just listen. No, see, I don't think that is what you need. I think what you need is to get the nail See, you're out. not even listening now. Okay, fine. I will listen. Fine. It's just, sometimes it's like, there's this achy, I don't know what it is. And I'm not sleeping very well at all. And all my sweaters are snagged. I mean, all of them. Yeah, I, that sounds really hard. It is. Thank you. Ow! Oh, come on, Ow. if you would just- Don't! Try to see things my way. Do I have to keep on talking till I can go on? We can work it out. We can work it out. Uh, well, uh, ho ho hopefully you learned something from that video. If nothing else, you learned that we're all in the same boat, right? <laughs> what well, was funny at least? I laughed. Mrs. didn't like it so much. Okay. Without further ado, it is time for the Too Far Gone Brewing Double IPA version two, the all grain version. So let me get that one cracked open. I probably didn't have that on video. Very small hiss. You know, I don't know how well this one's carving, but we're about to find out. All right, that's fair. That's not bad. I. I was expecting uh, not a full finger head on there, but actually, that's a nice pillowy head on there. That turned out okay. It's a little hazy. That's okay. That doesn't bother me at all. 
It's a, a nice uh, double IPA color. This one came out to a huge 9.2% ABV. And I think the hops were like something like 101 point something. So I'm going to get the aroma on this one. Wow. Okay. So, wow. <laughs> I think I got some pineapple off of that. That threw me. Um, I got some nice caramel aromas as well. Got some orange going on there. A little bit of grapefruit. Smells like a nice creamy texture as well. Wow, okay, I'm not getting much more, but I am starting to drool. So without further ado, I'm going to give this one a taste. Oh, there's some nice hop character on that. I almost think I could go hoppier. I do. And I, I over doubled the hops this time, but just the lightest bitterness on the back end. Really some nice light sweetness coming off of the malts, which is wonderful. Wow, going to the all grain and then adding an additional hop. I think we added Simcoe into it, as, as I recall. And increasing them um, really changes this up quite a bit. It's actually a much more balanced beer than before, I think. Um, really nice. I'm getting some light tropical flavors as well as quite a bit of citrus. I almost get like a, a little bit of a lemon off that and some grapefruit, a hint of orange on there, which is nice. Yeah, just the lightest hints of tropical fruits like papaya mango, very light though, very light in the background. Um, it's it's kind of indistinct, hard to pull some of those tropical flavors out. Wow, this is gonna be a dangerous one because you cannot tell that this is 9.2% ABV. I can't tell whatsoever. It just has this nice kind of medium sweetness to it with some good hoppiness. I could go hoppier with this one, but wow. I'm going to be enjoying this one. <laughs> that's just, that's just freaking scary. I'm going to be getting one of these down for sure quickly to Man Bear Pig, maybe to DJ from DJ's Brew Tube. You can check them out as well. And yes, I want to do a big shout out to Man Bear Pig 11223344455. I mentioned him enough. Here he is right there. Got a link below. If you're not watching his channel, please do. He does, pardon me, he does beer reviews. He does, uh, he brews beers. He's brewed beers for people's weddings and things. Uh, he doesn't talk quite about all the brewing that he does, but um, very entertaining, great guy, and I get a lot of ideas from him as far as brews and beers to review, and uh, and we chat constantly. We must we must text minimum of four times a week. So I, Josh, thank you. I I enjoy that too. I enjoy that so much. Uh, anyway, hopefully I've done a good job keeping it short. I have no idea, but you be the judge. I hope you enjoyed it. You have a great week, and I will see you again next week, hopefully with Christian. We'll see. Cheers. Mmm. That's damn good.